So I want to do this quick video on something that I think will resonate with quite a few of us and maybe maybe surprise quite a few of us into um, the realities of something that's going on with ourselves. And as most of you know, I like to try and keep this channel about the spirituality, dark night of the soul, but I like it to be the reality of that. I see too many channels painting this image of what spirituality is and how you should be feeling when you get there or they give you five ways of waking up. I, I, and I'm, I'm sorry if I seem a bit frustrated. It's because I am, because I speak to so many people, guys. Um, I really do. And they're all struggling and suffering in their life in one form or another. 90% of the time, it's because of beliefs, traditional beliefs, generational beliefs that have gone into them that are laying un invisible in them. And then once they're kind of pointed out to them, you can physically see their life change. And that's why with these videos, when I do them, I will only ever release them in the moment when I'm feeling that passion or I'm feeling that flow, I'm feeling that consciousness, if you like, because it's not there all the time. This channel is called Truth Be With You because the truth is in you. The truth was in me. Spirituality found me. Something erupted. I had a spiritual awakening. My ego fell away or most of it fell away. And what was left behind was the truth that I had to speak. And that truth has always been laying dormant in me. And it comes out on these videos now. Hence why I don't force content out and try and upload stuff every single day. Because then I'm forcing content for my ego's sake. And I'm not delivering the message that I want to deliver to you guys in the most effective way possible. This message is all about helping those people that are stuck or are beginning to wake up. Unfortunately, the ones who were still so unconscious in the matrix, I don't feel I have any special gift that can wake them up. What I do hope with, though, when I speak to them, that I can point out some things in their life that might be going on that would at least make their life a bit more bearable or a bit easier whilst they're still unconscious in the matrix. Um, so I hope that makes sense. I've, I've kind of digressed around the house there a little bit. Um, and like I say, guys, it gets very cold down here. So sometimes when I come on here, this is the reality. Underneath, everything is always nice. Everything kind of, I know everything's going to be okay in life. And that's a wonderful thing to have because you go into every single situation that you want to go into with no fear that, oh my God, if it all goes wrong, I won't be able to help myself. I won't be able to look after myself. That gets eradicated from you when you do, when your third eye opens and you see that beautiful consciousness. Um, it's there with us all the time um, but it's this thing that some of us I feel and I'm getting this because of the people that I talk to but some of us I feel we look at this dark night of the soul like it's a real burden like it's something that's happened to us that's really holding us back and why has this happened to me I have covered this before in other videos but obviously as the channel grows um, new subscribers are coming along and they might not be going back so I will repeat some of what I've said um, I kind of feel like that's only fair um, but we can feel like it's holding us to ransom almost. But it's not. The part of you in Dark Knight of the Soul that is feeling horrible is your true self coming through. It's not something that's happened to you that's then inflicted all this pain on you and someone said you've got to go through this and you've got to suffer. No, your true self is slowly identifying the parts of you that were failing you in the matrix, in the mind-made self the self-made image, the story that we tell the world. And the story that we told the world was only a story that we told the world because it was put in us by other people telling us our story. Other people, sorry, I get excited sometimes. Other people have told us our story. Did I make sense with that lot, guys? I really hope I did. Some of this stuff gets so twisted because if I'm talking to someone in, in the Matrix or someone who's still serving those beliefs if you like I can talk purely to the egoic side of them and I can kind of make their ego see what it is that it needs to see when I'm talking to you guys I'm aware that a lot of you are in the kind of a, a hurt place a painful place so it's trying to explain the three things which is the egoic mind your consciousness and where you are now it's trying to give you the idea of that and this is where sometimes I find these videos extremely fun because it's, I, I find that very difficult to do that. And when I'm face to face with someone, I can find a flow much better. When I'm in here, I kind of look around because I'm looking for something to make eye contact with. But it don't, don't seem to find that eye contact. Um, and so I kind of 
want to get this message out to you guys, but I'm not always sure if I'm doing the best job with it. Um, and this is the other thing as well that's quite surprising sometimes. I do sit there often and I think, why was I given this? Why did I get a feeling of I need to get this message out to the world? Why was this given to me? Um, and this goes back to the part I was saying earlier about we're, we're not special. This is within all of us and spirituality will come out of us in different ways. For some reason, I have this knowing that doing videos and speaking to people like this or on Zooms or just getting that message out there on social media somehow, I feel like that's my path. So yours might come out in a totally different way. You may have never played a musical instrument in your life, but suddenly you're starting to really gravitate towards a certain instrument in life that you feel like you want to play, something like that. Or it could be art, it could be writing books, it could be any, any, anything whatsoever. Um, it can come out of us in different ways. Um, but I want to try and get back on tap because I do, I am, I lose my chain of thought. Losing my chain of thought is exactly why sometimes I question, why did you give me this message <laughs> to get out to people when I can't stay on topic and I go all around the houses? Or in my case, I go all around the caravans. <laughs> but um, <laughs> OK, we're having fun here this morning. Um, but the part of you that is trying to wake up, the part, sorry, the part of you that is hurting is the part of you that is trying to come out. And this is why it's so important to sit in silence, to relax, to meditate, to walk in nature, to do all the things that I say in every single one of the other videos that I've said, to walk in nature. And one of my subscribers, TJ, hello, uh, mentioned yesterday, asked me, do I journal? I've, this is something I've not touched on a lot in my videos. I don't know why. It's a very, very strong point of mine. All my books are over there that I journaled in and I journaled the whole venture. I have mentioned it in a couple of videos. Um, journaling, this all helps us to get present in that moment and with all our feelings and emotions come out and you'll find you'll slowly unravel yourself through journaling, meditating, etc. This is why it's so important to know that that stuff is ultimately all you need to do in order to change your life. The ego will tell us we need to be making big, massive manoeuvres in order for us to move forward, but we don't. We just need to start acknowledging that we have to recognise our old thought patterns or the thought patterns that have kept us where we are before we can then start moving forward into our new thought patterns. Although they're not kind of new, that was for the video, they're not kind of new thought patterns as such. You won't necessarily have thought patterns. You'll, you'll, you'll be, when you get to that sort of point, you'll be paying more attention to your intuitions, which is the universe. The, your intuitions are the universe. So you'll be paying more attention to those intuitions and they guide you down the path. Hence, guys, my intuitions lead me into a path that keeps me in this caravan, which I love this caravan, by the way. I, I love it. It's just very cold. So it's a slight uncomfortable situation for me. But I love it here. And that's what I mean. It wouldn't, it's not sending me, uh, my consciousness or those intuitions are not sending me to a path that is being ultimately detrimental to my whole well-being or other people's well-beings. I like being on my own. This caravan gives me that solitude. I like quiet. I, and I also, this is something I'm really learning about myself. I don't like being comfortable. The comfortable in terms of the material comforts. I don't like that. I, I'm finding that that makes me uncreative towards my own life. Unimaginative. It leads me into this sense of if there's a TV there or a bath there. or something. I mean, I haven't watched television for years, but... I think you get the gist. If there's access, easy access to stereos and hot water and foods in the cupboard and stuff, can lead me into those feelings of, oh, I'll just take a day for myself. It'd be nice. I'll have a bath and eat some nice food and go. That, that When that happens to me, I don't feel good about myself because I realise I've spent a whole day doing the things that I don't ultimately want to do, but I've just been doing the things that ultimately feel good in that moment. But they only feel good in that moment because as you're doing them, they are releasing dopamine. And it's the dopamine that you're after that keeps you stuck where you are. It keeps you chasing the next fix and the next fix and the next fix. Guess what doesn't give you dopamine? What doesn't give you dopamine is when you first sit down to start trying to meditate. That causes agitation and frustration, but it only causes agitation and frustration, etc., because you've not done that before. And the mind is screaming for the quick dopamine fix of a chocolate bar, 
it's chasing that. It wants that quick fix. But ultimately, if you stick with the meditation, if you stick with the journaling, if you stick with the walking in nature, if you stick with drinking H2O, if you stick with understanding that you are nature, you are nature. This is not woo-woo. I think I'm going to get a bit passionate here now. You are not woo-woo. You are not weird, strange, unusual, freaky, looking at the world abnormal because you're feeling like there's a bigger essence to you. You are not woo-woo for wanting to sit under a tree and actually contemplate who you are and what you are as a thing. What sometimes causes us the problems in life is that we identify ourselves as a person. That's just a human constructed name that we've given ourselves is person. No, we are the thing that we think is a person. We are, we are nature. We are just nature. I've said it before, 13.8 billion years ago, a big bang happened. All this weird and wonderful stuff happened and here we are. We evolved out of that. We evolved out of the space that's in between us. And without that space that's in between us, nothing is here. That is consciousness. That is... I don't want to go too deep down that road because I'll do another video on that where I'll just let it play and I'll let it play for hours and I can go down that route with it because I, I love that and people who meet me face to face they know that and that's, that's the most wonderful area that I like to cover I think it's lovely for them and it's a lovely thing for me but we are just nature guys let's not look into it any more deeply than that the part of you that is hurting right now the part of you that is suffering and struggling and can't see clearly is the you that's coming out it's pushing out the old beliefs so in other words that might look like you can maybe hear your dad's voice in your head saying to you things that you might have said when you was a kid um and in your head you can kind of hear your dad's voice in the background that maybe says why did she do that why did she buy that house she should have bought that house you can hear this nagging and there you start seeing that every decision you've ever made in your life is kind of geared towards pleasing that voice. It might be your mum's voice, it might be millions of voices, films that you've watched. It's an identity that you've given yourself that you try to live by. And that's been guiding you, trying to, you've been observing that voice. And because of that, that's guided you to where you are, which is the suffering that you're currently now really struggling because the true you is eradicating that voice. <laughs> and all the other voices this video has gone so off topic it's unbelievable um but i'm gonna i'm gonna let it go again guys uh, i get nervous that people are gonna think who does this guy think he is there's the ego it's just the ego voice but underneath that is that essence is that consciousness that says it's okay i had this feeling on my last video my last video was my most successful one um I got 200 new subscribers for that. Uh, I now sit at 1,125 subscribers, I think it is right now, which is incredible. It's absolutely incredible that a guy, a thick child in a caravan, can create videos that people listen to. My biggest fear in my whole life gone was the fear of, fa was the fear of failing. And to me, the failing was the identifying the thickness in myself. It wasn't so much that I didn't want other people to think I was thick. I didn't want, I didn't want to know that what everyone had always told me about me was true. I've started doing these videos and it's not true. And that's what I say to you guys. Your beauty is discovering itself in that dark night of soul. The eradication of the old voices and the exposure of you. I could really go on for hours here, but what's happening there right in that moment is my ego's coming in like, just end the video there, Toad. You've done enough. They'll, they're, no one's no one's going to be listening to this now. And if they are, it's it's because they're feeling that. <laughs> they're feeling that you're making a fool of yourself and they're enjoying it. But if that's the case, if you're still watching here after however long, I can't got my glasses, so I can't see. Um, but it, it, if... Uh, if you're still here after this 20 minute or so rambling that I've been going on and you're doing that because you think I'm weird, then that's wonderful because that means I'm not being my old self. My old self would be doing all the things on this camera to try and impress you, to show off, to be the crazy guy, to be the funny one, to be the, to be the nice guy, the people pleaser. 
I wouldn't want to set a foot wrong. I wouldn't want to do anything wrong in this life. I wouldn't be doing these videos. But if I was, that was what my act would be doing. This guy now just sits and in that moment has that fun with the videos. Hopefully it helps some of you. And if other times it entertains you, then that's brilliant. Guys, the dark night of the soul is the release of you. It's the release of you, or you could look at it like it's the exposure of you. Or your true essence is exposing your old egoic beliefs that have saturated you and kept you suffocated your entire life. And now you are blossoming. Um, anyway, wow, that really did go woo-woo, didn't it? Um, but anyway, I hope some of you found that interesting. Guys, on a very serious note, I had a lot of fun doing that video. And you know why I had a lot of fun doing that? It's because you have given me the confidence to do that, that it's okay, you enjoy me being me. You enjoy me expressing myself. Sometimes I'm in a different flow. Sometimes I'm in a flow like today, like I am now. Um, a very sort of f having fun with it. But there is no blueprint, there's no norm to spirituality. What the, I suppose the wonderful side of spirituality is that you go with the flow of how you're feeling. So when I have my days when I'm feeling particularly rubbish, I just sit on my sofa and I don't do anything. I literally don't do anything. I stare at the cabinet there. I think I've said that before. Um, and I just allow the feelings of crappiness to come up. Not do anything. I don't react to them. I don't overthink them. If anything now, I kind of look at them and think, oh, this is, this is removing something. And as it's removing something, something nice happens afterwards. And it always does. It always does. But that something nice might not be like, I don't know, car landing on my driveway not that I have a driveway but you know what I mean it's not always something nice by materials it might be something nice that comes via a way of you have a new insight into something of your own life that then frees up some more space or you see more of your true self the whole thing's wonderful guys it's this big it's this big beautiful brewing pot of unraveling the true you and it's an absolutely gorgeous place to be although in the moment at times it's very painful and please if you're sitting there trying to logically understand what I'm saying make sure as well that once that, that you know there is a feeling lower than the logically understanding and that feeling is the one of knowing sometimes too much logic or intelligent clouds the wisdom that we all have let go of the knowledge let go of the the, the logic that you're applying to stuff and know that you're the wisdom underneath that. I know that doesn't make much sense, guys. To some of you, that will do. That they, they will. I, 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 I'm trying to find words to do that, but I feel like I'm going to start going down a different route on this video if I do that. But you are the wisdom underneath the knowledge. Can I say that another way? You, when you was a baby, when, I've done this one before, and some of you liked it. When you was a baby and you come, you, you, you was born, you, you, you had no questions and you needed no answers in your mind. You were there, your body and your energies reacted to what was going on around you. When you were hungry, you cried or got grumpy or you made silly noises. Who knows what you did? When you were cold, you'd done other things. When you were happy, you smiled. When you were sad, you cried. But you have no preconceived ideas of the world. And because of that, someone could put a scary mask in front of you as a baby and you'd smile. Someone does that to you as a toddler and you'd cry because you'd be frightened of that mask. But the point being there that when you was the baby, you was that pure essence. You was just consciousness at that point. And you, but you was consciousness at that point because you didn't have an ability to think. As years roll by, stuff gets put into us. The downloading goes into us from love as well as from sometimes narcissistic kind of places and the, the system that fails us, etc. Um, it goes into us and that then shapes our belief of what we think a human should be. And it also shapes the way that we think we need to be in order to tick those boxes of that good human book. And that's where the problem arises. Anyway. Have I gone really woo-woo there? Um, I know some of you like it when I go woo-woo. That's just spirituality. I am definitely going to end the video though, guys. Um, I, I love every single one of you. You guys literally are are creating the, the, the person that's filming this on here. And I have the confidence now to keep talking because I know you guys listen and you always show me love. Um, and I mean that. Some YouTubers always say they feel very connected and close to their subscribers. You know what? I really understand what they're saying now. 
This is a very, very true thing. We do get very connected and very personal and we love our subscribers a lot um, because at the other side, this side of the camera, we are normal, flawed beings. You know that are, that are doing videos. Anyway, right, I'm going. Guys, I love every single one of you. Thank you so much to all the guys who have come along, the newbies, and thank you so much to all the guys that have always been there for me uh, and supported me from day one and always shown me love. I love every single one of you. Have a great day and peace.